So the patient-centered oncology payment model is an alternative payment model that ASCO published in uh, May of 2015 after several years of work by our volunteers and staff. Um, what's interesting is the oncology care model from CMS uh, was actually introduced the summer of 2015 and started in the summer 2016. And there are many similarities between the two, even though they were independently uh, made. So over time, we've made some adjustments in the, we call it PCOP model, that will be probably published this summer. And we've taken some of the lessons learned from the oncology care model experience and other APMs in the oncology space and have actually refined our, our model some. But initially, some of the differences were important to practices in that the oncology care model was uh, uh, requiring total cost of care and considering the, the calculations of how well a practice was performing in it. And the oncology care or the PCOP model initially said we probably should have our physician practices responsible for the total cost of care that they were control were controlling. So some issues about the cost of drugs became an issue and all that. So we've tried to adjust that in our new model. The other thing that I think you'll see different as we've refreshed our model or in the process of doing it is we've taken a different approach because I think what we've learned is that not one size model will fit everybody in the country. And I think the oncology care model has a very sophisticated group of practices in it that we all know and are really wonderful practices. But there's a lot of practices out there that don't have the resources of many of these practices. So we're kind of designing our refresh model so that many other types of practices uh, can uh, perform in the, the new model if someone wishes to take it up and use it. And one of the big differences is we've kind of moved our model away from a across the country everybody should perform in this type of model to more of a regional based model because again you know care of medicine is local and you need to make adjustments for what your local community uh, needs and wants so I think that's where we've taken a little different tack as we refine our model now. The other part of our model that I think all the ones are beginning to recognize is you have to have a certain level of uh, a care delivery system within your practices to make any of these things run properly. And uh, therefore, we've put a lot of uh, thought process into what the practices will need to have in their infrastructure to be able to perform well on an alternative payment model. So those are those are some of the differences, and, and it's, it's still an evolution going on. OCM's changed over the last several years, too, to the credit of CMMI. So I think, you know, all these things, from my perspective, are experiments, and they're pilots, and we need to learn from them. No, not anyone is by itself going to get the answer right the first time around.